place where success comes before work is in the dictionary. Success, no doubt, is a product of diligent hard work and the reward for hard work is more work. From January to December, the 12th month and year 2019 has been that of hard work for Akoka Community Development Association, the pride of Bariga Local Council Development Area. We've done this year as a, in terms of a project. Uh, we have done the car wash. If you look at the back of this place, this is the car wash center. And uh, the car wash cost us almost 4.7 million naira. They can take six cars at a time. It's automated. It's here. We have bought uh, two transformers this year. Ola Rewaji transformer and Oyenuga Etoro transformer. It's there for everybody to see. We have done two covers this year. And uh, our magazine is also a project because this is a magazine we print every by by yearly. And uh, 5,000 copies is given free to members of the community and people outside. Every month, 15 people are being empowered. Every solid month. And uh, that's what we have been doing as a community for ourselves. <laughs> Life is all about setting goals, making little successes in stages and celebrating every little achievement made along the way. With a carnival of pomp and pageantry, members of Akoka CDA celebrate the fulfilling year 2019. We are inviting everybody to celebrate with us on what we have done uh, this year as a community. We have done well for ourselves and I want to thank the members of the community for their support over the year. The maiden edition in 2018 was record breaking. For year 2019, they've come in a new dimension with the team Arise Akoka. Akoka is one of the leading community in the last 15, 20, 30 years. I felt with this carnival, with all we are doing, government, we call government attention. Like today now, almost three, four ministries are represented here. I'm sure they will go back and tell the governor and tell whoever is in charge of projects, you are in charge of your whatever facilities that Akoka can have, that there's a community that is, uh, is trying to arise somewhere in Akoka. From the beginning, it was, it was actually different because we actually learned from what happened last year. We, it's even bigger and it's more wider. It's, um, the coverage was more. And then we had more of um, more of sponsors who actually believed in us and believed in what we can do. This year is looking good already. Better planning skills than what we did at the Maiden Edition. Now we know we have a better planning system. We have learned from our mistakes or whatever it is that we have before. It wasn't really a mistake, but we added more value to things. In their various costumes, the different bands formed by community members of different age group danced in a well choreographed steps with vigor and excitement on a procession around the community to the admiration of residents and guests. <laughs> street procession, talent displays and an open floor dance to different music genre continued upon convergence at the venue. Because having this kind of vocation in our community, it is something that everybody can enjoy. It is something everybody enjoys and I believe um, if we can continue to do this kind of thing, it promotes the youth too and it promotes our culture. I feel great. 
because the event is wonderful, no mistakes in the programs. I want to say thank you to the organizers for making the carnival for everybody to participate in the carnival. If you have the talent of dancing, acting, singing, this carnival can make impact by, by letting them to know that, okay, you are not meant to be taught, you are not meant to be hooligan, we have brain, we have things we can still do aside from hooligans and taught. To the organizers of this carnival, I am saying thank you and I am telling you not to stop this because it is impacting things into my life. It is impacting a lot of things to other people. This is bringing us together. This is giving us a voice. This is creating a cordial relationship among the youth, among the old ones. There is no separation. As you can see in our own community, there is no segregation irrespective of the religion you belong to. We are just one here today celebrating a Quokka Carnival. And this is great. In the next five years, I believe that with this, if this can continue, then we have a whole lot of people, those people that are still doubting that they are inside, those that went to work and different kind of things, they will be able to watch, let go of all those things, and let us have one day in a year to celebrate our community. As part of the event, a Quokka Watch, a magazine published by the community, was launched. So I'm going to launch this with a non-disclosed amount and I promise you that I'm going to fulfill that amount before I leave this carnival. In their remarks, community stakeholders applaud Akoka CDA for their groundbreaking communal achievement and urge them not to relent in their drive to set a new standard for the progress and development of the community. I used to say this that Akoka CDA leads another follow. Today, it is made manifested in what you have done again. Again, you have, already, you have also scored another goal by organizing this wonderful carnival. To me, it is educating, and to me, it's all encompassing. To me, it's fantastic, and it is wonderful carnival that you have put in place. So keep on the good work, Mr. Shebu Adesoya. I want to say, continue. I know you realize Amen. there are still rooms for you up here. There's many things that you have in stock that you want to do, that you want to embark on, as much as that will bring development to our conquer community. I say, go on. You receive our back in the ministry. And I want to say this afternoon that you have done wonderfully well. Through the carnival, the youth are allowed to do what they enjoy in a decent and organized way. They urge other communities to emulate same so as to engage the youth and inspire them to be more productive. My message to all that CDAs is to emulate the gauntlet that Akoka CDAs has thrown so that they themselves too will also bring, also have a good idea in initiating a program like this. I want another CDAs to emulate them so that they will do something like this. This is a carnival that has been organized by a community, a CDA. Government can do better, community can do better. What they need to do is just to look inward, plan well. They should not think uh, they cannot do it. For a community, you can do whatever you envision that to do. When you went to start, people said it's not possible. But before they know it, this is the second one we are doing, and we are looking up to uh, the fourth, uh, the third uh, edition. For other communities, let's all come together and promote love. Akoka CDA did it last year, and that's why we are being endorsed to continue with Akoka Carnival. So if we can do it, they can also do it.